hello welcome back again we are talking about the static method uh, we already talked about what is static method and how we can create static method and we can run it uh, we have seen that in the previous video now we'll talk about few characteristics about the static method so okay so we'll talk about first point the static method cannot access instance specific data or instance specific method as they do not have a reference to an instance of the class so let's try to justify this particular statement that a static method cannot access instance specific data or instance specific method so let's try to understand this point now so as you can see that we have written this particular code in our previous video so you can see this is uh, a static method this one also static method and we try to access this static uh, method using uh, this particular access vehicle class and using the double quote you can access our static method but now at this point of time we will see that this height and width not the uh, static field actually so this is instant fields instant fields so this is the instance specific data so can we access this height and width inside this particular real add method which is actually sending returning back uh, a real value so if you want to add this particular height of this uh, vehicle class so can we access this so the answer will be no so if we we'll write this dot here height you will get error here so what kind of error you will get just see so if we we'll click the error here you can see two error is there this is not a valid static method and the identifier this is not valid for the height so this way you cannot access the instance field so i already discussed that in a static method you cannot access the static field or a static re in non-static related data which is specific for the instance okay so this way we cannot uh, access instance fields or the class variable itself so if we'll uh, remove the this keyword and if we'll still try to save it you will get the error same error the instance field height is not accessible from the static method at so this way you cannot access the height okay so this point is clear that we cannot access a non-static uh, or a instance field in this static method also if just make it as a non-static method here okay so this is a normal method or an instance method okay so can you access this particular message inside our this particular method here or not so if you want to access you just have to call it inside this particular uh, add method and if you'll save it you'll be able to see that one error is appearing here it is saying the name message does not denote a predefined function or a static method on the global class not a previously added local function okay so this way you cannot you cannot access this particular method here so if we'll make it as a static so can we access that one so just make it a static s-t-a-t-i-c and if you'll make it as static and if you'll save it still you will get the error that the name message does not, does not denote a predefined function or a static method on the global access not a previously defined local function okay so if it will be static also you will not be able to call this particular message here inside another static method so you have to remember that and as per the error and the characteristics of the static method you have to use the message you have to use the static methods otherwise your implementation will be poor and you will get lots of error in your code so this fundamental thing you should remember otherwise you will get problem and the same way the call will be the same if you if you want to call the static method okay now let's move to the next point that that a static method cannot be overridden because they exist Bar class so let's try to improve uh, so let's try to understand this particular point and try to override uh, a static method in the child class and we'll show you that this will be not possible 
okay so now as you can see that uh, we have this method so to override this we need a child class so for that we have to create another class so let's try to create another class that is car okay so we'll extend the car class from the um, vehicle class so click add and after that you just try to extend so remove this one also this final keyword also and now add extends keyword here and after that give the name of the vehicle class just copy it and try to paste over here and after that if will if will override the static method so we know that to override the static method we have to keep the same signature or the parameter that it is having with the same name so that's why i'll copy it and i'll paste over here and if you we'll save it you will get the error so as you can see that we can write the message here but this particular message is specific to this particular car class but if you want to try to if you'll try to access the super uh, that means the parent class message method then this will be not possible okay so if you can see that it is throwing uh, error and if we'll give the semicolon and after that if we'll save it you can see that a call to super is not allowed here but if we will try to access a non-static mess method here so let's me create a particular method which is a non-static so i'll create a, another message here and i'll say it message one okay and i'll make it as a non-static at this point of time so if we we'll remove the static keyword before the message one name so it will be a non-static or a normal instance method okay so if you will try to uh, override will it be possible so let me copy it and paste over here and if we'll save it and if you'll we'll call the super inside your message so this will be possible because here it will not throw any error because the super call inside the static method is not possible so this particular line of code will throw error because overridden is not possible for the static method okay because the static method is specific to that particular class only so if you we'll remove this one it means this particular message is specific for this particular car and if we'll go over here and this particular static method will be specific to this particular vehicle class only there will be no relationship between this particular message and this particular message okay i hope it's clear now so the learning point here we cannot override the static method okay if there will be any child any child and parent relationship is there now we'll move to the next point so our third point will be the static method can be used for various purposes such as performing calculations creating utility function or initializing class specific data so i hope now it's clear that what is static variable and some uh, characteristics of static method so thanks for watching this video take care bye bye see you in the next one Thank <laughs> you.